Should Jacob make an OnlyFans? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I'll let you do it. Since I'm not allowed to do it, I'll let you do it. Should I take it off? No, not for free. Oh. Not for free. All right. Welcome back to the Neely Fam channel. We are here with a super fun game, a spicy game. I'm super excited. Macy's done it a few times before on her Instagram. Today, we are going to blindly react to your anonymous confessions, and here they are. How many were there? Over like 200? There's a lot. There's so many. They're probably gonna be juicy. If you did not write a confession in, it's because you're not following me on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, because that's where the party is. Sometimes when Macy reads these to me, I cringe so much inside and I get anxiety for these people, like so yeah. much. But we've also got some like <laughs> nasty ones, like about him even, or me. Like we've got some people confessing their love for us. <laughs> that is true. A lot of it for Jacob. We appreciate the love, but let's just keep it okay. PG. Let's go. <laughs> let's get into it. All right, are we ready? Okay, ready oh, for- Oh, by the way, make sure you like and subscribe. Click the subscribe button. By the way, make sure you like and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribing, subscribe already. Okay, here we go. Okay, go. Okay, confession number one, I'm nervous. <sighs> oh! This one, I guess, is for me. You were my middle school crush. Ooh, you jealous? No. You jealous someone was crushing on me in middle school? <laughs> no, thank you for confessing that. And I will find you. Who are you? <laughs> Confession number two. I guess this is about me again. I imagine us getting married. <laughs> Jacob's Why? upset, you guys. Jacob's stressed. You can keep imagining. <laughs> you can keep imagining. That doesn't bug me. I'm good. I'll brush it off. My husband likes to watch me be with other people. <laughs> some people got some freaky fetishes. Freaky deaky. That's freaky, what they want to do in their marriage, and that's their thing, and that's their thing. Yeah, I, I think that's a slippery slope, fellas. I sexted my <coughs> uncle once with a emoji. Why? Imagine. Why? Wait, why? Imagine if you did that to your uncle. I don't even want to think about that. I don't want to throw up. How could you go to family gatherings ever again? Would you actually look them in the eye ever again? Wait, are you thinking they did it on purpose? No. Oh, I was thinking they did it on purpose. Oh. Oh. That's a little freaky deaky. If they did, I don't know <laughs> if they did. Next confession. I miss you. <laughs> oh no. Is that you? Uh, could be me. Who's missing who? You know, that could be. <laughs> what? Your ex-girlfriend. Mm. Okay, next confession. Ooh, we got another hater. You look like you're 40 or 50 years old. The huge lines on the side of your mouth <laughs> and your saggy skin looks bad. I don't know why any college kids were saying that you were hot. Sounds like another person who's just jealous. Honestly, their insecurities so. are coming out. I don't give a fuck. Cause most of the time I don't wear makeup. No. And I don't ever sweats. And you're gorgeous. Thanks. Bunch of liars. Sounds like we got a lot of haters in the building and that's okay to be jealous and insecure. I think you looked better in college when you wore more eyeliner. It made you look younger. That is so funny because when I look- You When I look like back at my college pictures of eyeliner, I'm like, why did I do that? It was really black, right? Yeah. It was a big I thing like of black. lined the top and the bottom and it was giving Avril Lavigne. Yeah. It was. I look back at it too and I'm like, oh, it's so, let's that's put, so five years ago. Let's put a picture ago. in right here to show everyone the, <laughs> the eyeliner phase, which we will not be going back to, but thank you. Whatever you do right now is beautiful. Thank that's you. That's all you need. Looks like a lot of people hate me on this confession. It's weird when you have haters, but they're also following your every move. It's like, that is Ooh. so, like clearly you follow me on social media to be able to do a confession. So maybe you're so actually true. just, that's why we have a good security system, so. Okay, next confession. As a stepdad of eight and a half years to a 10 year old, I feel uncomfortable disciplining my stepdaughter, even though she's with me more than her father because my wife prefers I stay out of it as much as possible. I feel it's unfair to our three kids together, but she doesn't see it that way. That has to be more of a question for you because you are like technically a stepdad, even though it doesn't feel I like think it. that is unfair. Let's just pretend it's a, it's a family that's not mixed and it's just typical mom and dad. You go to your aunt's house, your aunt's gonna have rules. She's gonna have expectations. If that's your sister-in-law or if that's your sister, you tell your kids, hey, listen to your freaking aunt. This is their house. I think it's the same thing that applies. It's just courtesy and respect. 
I also had a friend who like was basically raised by her dad and she said that he like never disciplined her, never gave her rules. And she, I feel like it almost made her feel like disconnected, like different than the other children because to her it came off as he didn't care as much as he did That's for the true. other siblings because he just let her do whatever. And so I think that could also give off those vibes. I don't know if this video we're doing counseling, but maybe in another video we'll have a counsel session. Okay, this is a juicy one. Over the top confession. I've dreamt about having sex with Jacob more than once once and think about him sometimes when I'm with my husband. <laughs> with a smirk emoji. He just looks like he had the perfect six pack and a big butt. Eggplant. <laughs> I don't know. Eggplant emoji. Wow. Wow. I'm flattered. It's a lot to process. I'm not taking any applications at the moment, but. But he's mine. <laughs> and I don't like to share among what people in the media were saying. <laughs> yeah. Bring it to me. Confession, it's midsummer. You owe us a string bikini pic, not one of your diaper bathing suits. <laughs> I think it's because my last post, the swimsuit was like oh, a yeah. thicker bottom, which is so funny because I usually don't post bikini pics. So. We'll add an OnlyFans ad right here. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, if I ever get desperate, I need to pay that mortgage. We'll be making an OnlyFans, don't you worry. The answer is no for you. I'm not gonna say this one out loud, but look. Yep. Screenshot. Uh oh. Can I? There is going to be drama after reading this confession. Just know that this confession I cannot read out loud, but this is gonna raise hell. Oh! This confession says, I made out with Jacob once. Jacob? Who is this? I've only kissed two girls in my life. So. Me and your mama? Exactly. So that's a liar. Tell me, was he good or was he bad? Was he sloppy? Because I kind of had to like form him into the kisser he is today. My So now ass. he's a way better kisser once we started dating. So I hope he wasn't too bad when you kissed him. You're so You weren't bad when You're I kissed hilarious. you, but like, oh my God. He needed a little improvement, you know. Stop. You need to stop. <laughs> I love the confidence. You're putting me down. I'm not putting you down because everyone here loves you, as you can see from this one. <laughs> How much for a shirtless pic of Jacob? Name your price, babe. Five dollars. Five dollars? And a Del Taco quesadilla. You got it. Should Jacob make an OnlyFans? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I'll let you do it. Since I'm not allowed to do it, I'll let you do it. Should I take it off? No, not for free. Oh. Not for free. All right. <clears throat> this one is an ulti. I cheated on my husband after he convinced me to have a threesome. Should I confess to him? Whoa. So is that like she had no part and like didn't want a threesome and then was angry and then she's like, I'm gonna go cheat. I would. I would. I would. Yeah. No, I would because like the reason know why. Both parties threesome. Yeah, the reason why they're kind of in this situation is because he was like wanting to push the threesome on her and then now she's like, I messed up. So I would confess because I'd be like, you kind of opened this door here. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. The threesome you both know about, but you cheating, only you do. <laughs> Damn, that's juicy though. <laughs> Okay, this is a funny one. I live in an apartment complex with a shared laundry room. I usually do my laundry late at night, but when I see someone else doing their laundry, I open and check their laundry and steal their panties, bras, and other lingerie. I love wearing it. That is funny. Do you give it back? I don't know. Well, if you take it, you probably never see it. They probably just assume it like got lost in the cracks of the laundry. Like, I think it's lost. so weird. I would never want to use someone's someone used panties or bras. I guess if they're someone washing it, but still used underwear. Ew. Ugh. Gross. Ah. Why would you do that? Freaky people. Interesting. Okay, next confession. Ooh, juicy, but also kind of funny. I cheated on my boyfriend of three years with a guy I was starting to fall for. In the middle of it, I felt so guilty. I threw up on the bed. Long story short, he left and never spoke to me again. Lesson learned for me. No way. Okay, the good thing is though, is they have the most guilty conscience. They literally threw up. It just made their up. stomach. Oh it just felt sick to their stomach and they threw up. Imagine being that guy. She's getting throw up. Barfs and she's on like, him I, I can't do this. And you're like, yeah, well, I got throw up on me. He's like, well, I can't do this either now. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> He's like, well, after that throw up, I don't think I could see you the same. Dude, if it were oh me, I have like a phobia of throw up. If someone threw up, especially in that intimate of a situation, never again. I would be out the door. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. I'm one of your best friends, but you are not one of mine. No. What? That's weird. 
I wonder if that's someone just making something up. Scary. Are you making that up or is that real? <laughs> honestly, it is real. I have a very few number of best friends, so honestly, highly doubt that, but cute confession though. <gasps> this one's kind of funny because it's probably someone that's older. I'm afraid of the dark. I'm, I think everyone's a little bit afraid of the dark. you're probably an adult. Okay, but everyone's a little bit afraid of the dark. Like, if I'm downstairs and I have to turn all the lights off after I lock the doors, I'm like, ooh! And I'll turn my flashlight on and, like, run upstairs. But I wouldn't <laughs> say I'm, like, afraid of the dark. <laughs> you're afraid of the dark. That's what it is. Macy just gave us her confession that she's afraid of the dark. That's and I'm so proud of her for doing it. Not true. Because in our bedroom at night, I have to cover every single source of light in this room. If it's like a little light from the computer, I have to put a pillow on it. If you are afraid of the dark, I feel like you have a nightlight. Maybe. That's my definition of afraid of the dark. If you run in any dark situation. Everyone's dark. a little bit afraid of the dark. <laughs> you are too. No, I like it. If I hear a noise in the house, my Jacob, I heard something. He's like, what? But he like won't get up to check, or if he does check, he's like scared. Check. He'll be like, he'll be like, come with me. I check. So I didn't want to hear it from you, guys, because he's a little scaredy cat. I feel like there's a lot of childhood things. You know, I'll give you my confession. When I was little, I was afraid of the toilet flushing, and so I would run out of the bathroom. Shut up! I was too. Were you really? You, yeah. I didn't like, like the noise. Like when I was like five, or when yeah. I started going to the bathroom. I didn't like the no noise, way. it like scared me. So I'd, I'd like flush it and like cut my ears. Are you serious? Ears. Yeah, and because <laughs> I watched the Spice Girls movie where the guy comes out of the toilet bowl, like this guy comes out of the really? toilet. And so I was always scared to even sit on the toilet when I was like really little, because I thought the guy from Spice Girls was gonna come out That's and so scary. get my bum. That's so why you don't show little kids anything because their imagination is Yeah. Friends. That is so funny. This is like a psycho confession. When someone parks like a jerk or too close to me, I hammer a nail into their tire. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't want to see you in a parking lot. That's all I'm going to say. Seriously. Although I do park perfectly, so that wouldn't be me. Wouldn't be you. It would be me. It would be him. That's ruthless. Imagine like a spouse or like being siblings with someone that's that ruthless. Babe, that. I literally had, how many nails did we get in our tires last year? Probably three lot, right? different three. times. It's probably from you parking. Someone what nailed, if this person did it to me? Someone nailed, hammered that a nail into our tire. That could be it. I gotta stop parking like an ass. What if you said that? Savage. What if you randomly said that and you just randomly confessed some like crazy little devious thing, like something small? You think that, it like, was me? No, but I'm just saying, how weird would that be if I were to say that too? Be I like, would be like, you're psycho. What if I were to be like, I spit on the handle of shopping carts when I return them? I would yeah. think that you had like a mental illness, <laughs> like some weird thing. All right, that is enough for us. We're gonna was, wrap it up with the nails and the tire. That was too much for me. I'm getting nervous and I do need to start parking better. Yeah. That's the lesson of all this. <laughs> and I need to hide my wife. Hide your kids. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husband. <laughs> Comment below whichever one you thought was the weirdest or what you would do if you found out that was your spouse's confession. What would you do? That'd be a funny one. We should go through that. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing and join us next week for yes. another video. Bye guys.